Okay, imagine this, a password lock with just one button. No keypads, no fingerprint. Just tap, 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 like a secret agent. Today we're building that with Arduino. So let's go. For this project, you need an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, some jumper wires, a LED, and a 220 ohms register as well, together with LED, so to protect it. And finally, the most importantly, a button. All right, so first, let's set the button to the breadboard. Now, one leg of the button connect to the ground and the other leg to digital pin 2. So why I connect it to the ground is because we're gonna make an internal pull-up inside the Arduino. Now connect the lid. So the short leg is negative and the long leg is positive. So the short leg to the ground and the long one to digital pin 8, but of course, through a resistor. So that's it for the circuit. Now let's move on to the cut. The code is already done guys, so I'll just explain briefly every paragraph in the code. So first we define which pins we're using. The bottom, the bottom pin which is 2 and the left pin which is 8. Then we have these variables, so these help us measure how long you press the button uh, and restore when you start pressing track the last state and whether we are recording a new input. So we store when you start pressing, track the last state and whether we are recording a new input. And now this is the password. So short means zero and long means one. So we store the user's input in input sequence and use input index to track which press we are on. In the setup, we activate the internal pull-up resistor for the button, set the LED as uh, output, and initialize the serial monitor, so we can see what's happening. After, in the loop function, we have digital read bottom pin, so we constantly read the bottom, if it goes from high to low, that means the button was just pressed. On that note, this part marks the start of the press. We store the current time using minutes and say we're recording now. And when the button is released, we calculate how long it was held down by subtracting start time from the current time. Here we have some serial print functions and uh, wait I forgot to explain uh, this so this line checks if the press was longer than 500 milliseconds so if yes we call it a long press so one if not short press so it's zero and next uh, we have the input sequence and input index where we store the result in the input sequence array and move to the next input. And in this if condition, once we get three presses, we check if it matches the password. So we compare it. If yes, the LED turns on for three seconds. 
and if not we just say a wrong password and reset everything and finally we store the current button state so we can compare it in the next loop uh, this function checks if three passes match the password if every pass is correct it returns true you're in if even one is wrong it fails and that's it about the code now just send it to the Arduino all right guys so I sent the code to the Arduino and let's test it so here's the code and our circuit let me just turn on the lights okay so let's grab it here so guys one short press so wait what was our password um one short press a uh, long press and then finally a uh, short press again so uh, short press yeah press one short now long press long and again a short press yeah As you can see, the LED turned on for three seconds. So a one short press, a long press, again a short press and X is granted. Let's go. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it and found it helpful. If so, I would be happy if you put a like on my video and see you in the next one.